name is Derek May, uh, owner and president of 360 Digital Media, located here in Greenville, South Carolina. We're a wholesale digital print provider. Um, we, did, we provide print to the trade, um, grand format, all the way down to small. We do die sub, vehicle graphics, banners, you name it. Derek, why did you purchase the Colex Sharpcut? It was basically my working relationship with uh, Werner at Colex. Um, I already have one piece of equipment of his. Um, so a, a long-time user of his equipment and uh, just his great staff. It was a, just a good opportunity to get into a flatbed cutter. What were the important issues 360 Digital Media considered before purchasing the Colex Sharpcut? Um, again, the Colex Shark Cut is, you know, for the, the bang for your buck, you know, for the price, all the options you get with the machine. It allowed, you know, they just started the 5x10 platform, um, gave me the ability to cut my 5x10 prints coming off of my printer. Were there benefits gained by placing the Colex Sharp Cut in your facility? Yes, it definitely gave us, you know, in-house capability to do, our, do all of our cutting in-house. Um, Previously, we had been doing outsourcing our cutting, which we didn't have great control over our QC, and you know we'd have to end up reprinting stuff that got cut wrong out of house. So having the ability to do stuff all in house definitely gave us a step above the rest. So. Was it difficult for your staff to learn the Colex Sharp Cut system? Uh, the the learning curve, I mean, is kind of standard with you know most equipment. I mean, it's. It was, it was fairly easy. I mean, it's the software's, you know, it's iCut 7 software. It's really easy to use. You know, the, I guess the harder thing, learning curve, was just, you know, learning what bits to use for what material. You know, you have a guide to tell you, but then also, you know, just different feed rates and, you know, just learning the, the ins and outs of certain material and how it cuts. Does the Colex Sharp Cut keep up with your volume of work? Yes, at, at the current time, the sharp cut, like I said, it's, it really cuts as fast as any other piece of equipment out there because really you're limited to the actual material you're cutting that's, you know, how fast you can cut it. So really, even if you go with a high-end model like a Kongsberg, it can't cut gator board any faster than that machine does. So, I mean, it, I, I don't see us maxing out the, the capability of the machine anytime soon. So. Derek, would you recommend the Colex Sharp Cut to others? Yes, I, I definitely think this is a great machine. You know, I mean, we've had it for over a year now. No, like I said, any hiccups we've had, I mean, they've been very responsive to, you know, get me on the, you know, get on the phone or even come down here and fix anything you have wrong. But it's, it's been a great machine, runs great. So uh, I'd recommend it to anybody. Do you have any interesting stories about Colex? No real funny stories. I mean, I just think they're a, a good bunch of guys to work with. I mean, Vlad, I mean, he, you know, very helpful. I mean, I have a, a HP Turbojet, you know, and he actually was helping me fashion up a, a device for the machine, you know, just, you know, he was, I guess he got a little bored, you know, and just training, so he'd come over and kind of look around and see what other piece of equipment, you know, and put his two cents in and you know he's got a lot of experience just seeing other shops what they're doing so he's able to help me uh, fashion a, a jig for that machine basically so it, it worked out pretty neat. So.